personality and nationally syndicated newspaper columnist, super handyman, Al Carroll. And your host, national home builder and mortgage expert, Michael Holligan. Every year, fires cause more than $4 billion in damage to homes in the U.S. There are chemical fire retardants that can help minimize damage and even keep a fire from erupting and spreading through your home. Watching how they work under controlled circumstances is pretty impressive. This, this is a wood shingle that's supposed to be on top of a house. And uh, I can put the torch up there against it. And you can see how fast and easy it starts on fire. I mean, it virtually burn up as quick as possible, especially if it's out in the wind. Yeah, they definitely go fast. Okay, set that down here. This is one I have treated with flame safe, shingle safe. You can put the blowtorch right up against it and hold it there as long as you want to. I've held it up uh, against the wood shingle before 20 minutes. How about newspaper? I see you brought some of that. Okay. This has been treated at one end and one end hasn't. I will burn the end that has not been treated first. And as it gets up to where the flame safe is, it just goes it out. Stops. It just goes completely out. Donnie, how do you treat your house so the material doesn't burn? We have an aerial sprayer. We come in and spray it down, get it pretty well saturated. Some places we get tight, we can put it on with a paintbrush or a roller brush, but it's best to put it on with an air sprayer. And then it takes uh, just a couple of hours to dry, and then after that, it's completely protected. So you can do a house like this that's under construction while the wood is exposed? Yes, sir. And it, it, when we do a house like this, it's a lifetime guarantee that we don't ever catch on fire. Is there any danger of the material around children or pets, or is there anything you should not apply flame safe to? It's non-toxic. Uh, it will not hurt plants, animals. Uh, you can use it in the food area. It will not hurt anything. We told everything that will burn. On the carpet and the drapes and the furniture, if you steam clean them, it might be a good idea to put a little bit more on there because the steam may take some of it out of there. The price of chemical fire retardants can vary, but a product like FlameSafe normally runs about 35 cents per square foot on a home under construction. In other words, a 2,000 square foot house would cost about $700. If you have wood shingles, you can expect to pay about 50 cents per square foot for the roof itself. Wood shingles can spell disaster. House fires like this one can skip from home to home in a neighborhood with wood shakes. Many communities have outlawed them altogether, but if you feel you must have wood shingles, it's a good idea to have the shakes treated with a tested and guaranteed fire retardant. Fire officials say the best method is buying wood shakes that have been pressure treated with fire retardant chemicals in a factory, but spray on fire retardants can be effective for a number of years. This one is guaranteed to protect your roof for a minimum of five years, and it's been tested and approved by UL laboratories and other research labs. Fire Marshal Russ Moore has a simple way you can test a fire retardant before having it applied to your home. A real unscientific test would be to take uh, a sample of the wood shingle that the salesperson gives you and just throw it in your dishwasher and run it through a cycle of the dishwasher using a, just a regular dishwashing detergent and then dry it out real good to see if it burns. And you, you'll see how, how well the product's going to weather that way. I mean, you'd be able to compare one product to another. Russ points out some other good considerations, too. As a fire marshal, I'm not going to tell you not to put a fire retardant treatment on your roof because anything that you can do to an untreated wood shingle roof to make it more fire resistive is a help. But the cost of some of these treatments get real close to the cost of re-roofing your house with composition shingles. So uh, when you look at what that breaks down as a cost per year, uh, you can take a, a treatment, say, for $100 a square or about a dollar a square foot that's going to last three or four years. You compare that to putting the same amount in a, into a new roof, that may last you 30 years. So obviously in that situation, the new roof is the better investment. There are numerous companies in, in most uh, metropolitan areas that sell these products and look closely at them and even call your local fire marshal to see uh, what he, he or she has to say about that. Thank you.